Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 30 of Sons of Carthage and Rome as Tunis, where today we have very few options for our paths moving forward. The coalition is going to try and creep up on us as it did before, however, we have but one option to fix it. And that is to go to war with Spain and Britain, with the Ottomans and Brandenburg on our side. We don't have many options other than that. I've Trust me, I've looked at a lot of them. See, if we went to war with Britain, which I'd like to do for the reconquest of some French corps, in fact, you know, all of them it would be great. Then, um, you know, the Ottomans would not help us, so I'd be at war with Spain and Britain by myself, which is not going to work out. But with Spain, for some reason, it's just close enough that the Ottomans feel it's totally fine, so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, go with this option, because the Spanish truce that we have is only gonna last us so long. And Britain, having just suffered a pretty pretty tough defeat here, is probably not looking to join. Well, they might join. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna curse it. I don't wanna jinx it like that. They very well could just join the coalition, uh, you know, pretty immediately too. They could do it instantly, but I find it a little less likely. I, I must say, at least, I find it a little less likely. Uh, religion in Janaba changes really over here. Changes to what? To reformed? That's really annoying. I mean, it's going to happen either way. I might as well just change it back at some point. Um, and when is this truce done? Actually, we have six months. Roughly six months to do this, which means we have roughly six months to move these guys over, which is not as much fun as I'd like it to be. Actually, I'm going to move these guys uh, down here. I'm going to have them start in southern Spain so that we don't have split off armies or whatever. Because I'm pretty sure Britain's going to be a formidable foe and I, they probably would just snipe me while I'm over here uh, before these guys even get there. So I'm going to do my best to just move all of these troops as fast as I possibly can. I'm going to have some Tafalalti problems, but that's okay. And while these guys are here, they can also uh, suppress the very few rebels that are chilling over here. Uh, I don't remember actually picking that one up. Let's not do that. That's not a problem I'm going to deal with. Uh, right, so February comes along. Yeah, we're not making good time here. We have to declare like the, the same day, same day that the truce is done, or else they'll just join the coalition. Uh, rivaled and they have good reason to. There's no reason that they would not day one join the coalition. So let's move. Uh, let's move things up a little bit. Let's make things a little bit faster, huh? So if you're gonna be here at the, roughly the same time, we'll pick you up. That's not what I wanted to do at all. It's the right button. Let's move you over here. March. We're actually making surprisingly good time on this. Uh, April... Ah, oh, Britain joined. Okay. That's no reason for concern just yet. That It's alarming, but it's no reason to be absolutely scared. Like, out of our minds. Like, we're okay. We're okay for now. We're chilling. So we have May coming along, and then 1st of June, instant war deck. Yeah, we, we haven't been given an option on that one. So let's get ourselves a an admiral, actually. Never mind, we'll take the money, but uh, no Admiral for us. Unless we're willing to wait. Yeah, we're only making two Diplo a month. It doesn't look very likely. My heart's pretty much pounding right now. Because we have... We have to, same day. Same day, no chances. Absolutely zero chances. We're going to go for something sort of mundane, like Tangiers or something. Um, and even though we can't touch it right now... Boom. We cannot let this, like, rest a single second. Not one. Not a single one. Ooh, the numbers are stacking up. This is our first war with the Great Britain. Is it the first war? No, 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 no. I feel like we fought a war with Great Britain earlier. Don't remember what it was for, but I feel like we fought one. Anyways, France is going to be left to die. We're going to siege down Spain for now. Because Spain got a little too cocky, you know. Spain actually repaid its loans back and got out of its bankruptcy. We're going to have to teach them that, um, sorry, but bankruptcy is where you belong, so. We're going to have to put you back in your right categorical place. Uh, I also don't have anyone who can help me. 
with these ships, do I? I don't feel like going in there without an admiral is a good idea. I mean, that's still four heavies. Well, I mean, I do have like 50%, 55% galley combat. Never mind. Maybe we should just kill him. Just get rid of him. Um, you have somehow just walked past me and done this. I, I'm not really sure how you did that, but okay. Going to Cordoba, which is a fine location to fight in. Unless you walk past it multiple times. Right, can, I, can I do this? That's a much better strategic placing. Um, now, who's doing what? I mean, let's be honest. I set all these guys to do nothing, so let's set them to siege. Portugal's in here as well. Of course, that would make a whole bunch of sense. 150,000 guys. Portugal, Austria, Spain, and Britain. Right. Right. I should try and knock Portugal out of this as soon as possible. Um, surely I should get here faster. A force march, maybe? 15th of August, 16th of August. You can force march only if they're locked in. There we go. Brings the speed 3 as well. Let's not screw ourselves over here. Man, that morale bonus they have is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what did we do here? We fought them. We absolutely crushed their fleet. God damn. We lost ourselves one uh, light ship. We grabbed a couple of transports. That's cool. Now, the numbers are working now, but the amount of time it takes for that morale to recover afterwards is awful. Because they just do so much morale damage. Because they have extra morale, so they last longer. But the Ottomans really should start coming down here. Because they have a clear and easy path to just destroy people. So, in theory, we do have some sort of a numbers advantage. It's very little, but it's true. It does exist. Uh, let me grab that. It min nothing to really spend that on, other than a couple of states. Yeah, I could make a few states, right? Yeah, the tech's not really going to catch up to us. Or, yeah, it's not going to catch up to us too quickly, so... Let's make ourselves a few states, at least. North Morocco might not be a bad one. We'll do that. Um, now we're missing two, because you actually have cores on those ones. Uh, anything else? There's nothing super useful. Should keep a, Try and keep a close eye on Britain, because they could probably just wipe me in an instant. I don't have the best fighting capabilities. I just have... I have something. I have discipline. I have what would normally be considered pretty good morale. Except the Spain, of course, with their Castilian traditions. They didn't even take the Spanish ideas. Just to rub the salt in my wounds. Just to spit in my face. They didn't even take the Spanish ideas. Anyways, let's go and take Portugal out fast. We've taken the capital of Spain. We can move on. Um, once this war with Morocco is done, which will definitely take its time... Uh, someone else has joined. Who was that? Who was the obvious newcomer? Shamar. Okay. Interesting. Unless they were there the entire time. I have the feeling they were. The Pope is already there. Am I still excommunicated? I am. Okay. Who is the obvious newcomer? I don't see an obvious newcomer. Definitely someone. Someone's back. I don't know who it is, but it's definitely someone. I don't know. It's, it's what it is. Is it Spain? No, Spain's not back in there. I don't know. It's definitely someone. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to catch these Spanish troops. I also don't have vision around here, which is uh, that much more dangerous. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some British troops. Don't see all of them, though. Mm, maybe I can... Really quickly run over here and see what I can do. I won't get there in time, but maybe I can just clean up what's left before they get the morale tick back. There we go. Stack white, beautiful. 
Here are you guys. Um, let's go to Valencia. That's the one I want to take. Now, of course, because we're at war with Spain and because aggressive expansion has become sort of something that doesn't matter over here in Western Europe, I'm going to see if I can just complete what, would the, what the achievement would be and see if I can do something like this as well. Because how many new joiners are there to this coalition? Well, Burgundy. It's just Burgundy. It's literally just Burgundy. So doing this is of no consequence. Other than the uh, obvious 118% overextension. Which is a little less fun, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out for us. Mm hmm. This would be the peak peace deal for us. This will clean up what we need in Iberia. For requirements for Rome. This would complete Sons of Carthage. After we annex Naples and Genoa. Hmm. I'll figure that out when we get there. We might not even be able to take all of that. Let's keep that in mind, huh? Are you going to try and attack me? Didn't think so. That would have been a terrible idea. Uh, now my fleet can definitely move out into here. Just to help that out a little. There we go. 7% is pretty nice. It's not enough, but it's nice. Do you plan to attack me? I feel like they do. Yeah. I, 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 I sort of like... If they weren't attacking me and they weren't backing up, then I sort of smelled reinforcements. I'm like, hmm. That's an uncharacteristic thing to do. An AI venturing this close with no backup? Hmm. Doesn't quite sound right to me. Let me just sit nearby. Let me just let me let me just chill nearby. I don't need to do much. Uh, I will, however, try and pull whatever kind of truce I can out of out of Portugal. Uh, might wait a little longer for that, but I definitely want to pull some sort of truce out of that so they leave the coalition. Um, as for Portugal itself, the total war score to vassalize is 95. It keeps going up because they keep colonizing things, which is really annoying. I'd have to literally go down here and take pieces of land, which would absolutely suck, but it might be something I have to do. Depends on how much it would actually cost, because I could just, like, bump up the autonomy and then not care, right? Oh, it's the Ottomans. Disgusting. Yeah, I could, I could definitely do that. That wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I definitely do want to vassalize Portugal. I get free colonies out of it, and free colonies means free money. And I am a fan of free money. Gain innovativeness for 200 ducats, so I could get a church in Man. Am I really going to spend 200 ducats for one innovativeness? Probably not. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. Okay, Britain's arrived. Welcome. On the bright side, the war goal is occupied right now, which is good. It means I'm not losing anything. It also means I'm not gaining anything, of course, but at least I'm not losing anything by not having it. Uh, you're moving on to Toledo, huh? And you guys move really slow. 14%? Oh, super lucky. Hold on. Let me go and see if I can wipe the British. Or at least uh, intimidate the Spanish out of here. Leave. Go away. Unless I could just like wipe you like this. Would we be fast enough to wipe them? No. I don't feel like we would be. Because then Britain sends in the 18k, the other 15k comes in. But, what have I ever had good ideas? All I've ever had is a bunch of ideas. Let's see if this one ends up working. Uh, we're going to get a minus one, but that's okay, because our generals are going to give us a plus one in the shock phase. So, well, we're getting like a minus 0 0.5 in total. 
There's no way we should be able to lose this one. God damn that morale. <laughs> We've even lost the siege. God damn. Wow. Wow, that's really unfortunate. That really just shows the difference between our combat abilities. Even against 30,000, like 60,000 could not win that. Even lost more men. Oh, that really just shows the difference, huh? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. Okay, well. Let's see how things are going for the Ottomans. They're sending in the reinforcements. It's taken them a while. You know, he's he's guarding the area over here. And, and over here, you know, just, he's guarding them. It's not what we need right now, but he's doing it. He's doing it anyway. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep that up. And let's ask Portugal to leave. Which they will gladly do. For a bit of cash. Okay, that's one more player out. We have the numerical advantage. We just don't have the... Numbers in the right locations. I think. Let me repair this manpower while we do some stuff here. I'm going to get rid of this entire fleet. There we go. If there's one thing, I have a good navy. And I'll give myself that. Not as good as the British, of course, because no one has a better fleet than the British, but... At least we have something. Okay, let's put on some good old music here. Put on some conflict in the Caribbean. Because this is really important. Really important war. Probably the most important war we've ever fought in. So. Let's keep that motivation up. Glory to us for an extra Diplo rep. Not bad. I do get to annex Naples a little faster. Um, the Ottomans are losing to, to Britain. The Ottomans have inferior armies to Britain. That's never good to see. Naples, run away. Naples, you absolute clown. Oh boy. So 50,000 of our men are over here. That's not good. Hmm. Now, although this was fought mostly for the truce, I do want stuff out of it. Oh, I hate this event. God damn it, not again. Yeah, let's, let's make sure no one ever likes us ever again. Or we can pay up for it. Lose traditions. And admin. To make the burgers hate us. For 20 years. Great. Sure, let's do that. That seems totally good. If we moved in, we'd get de demolished here, so there's just no point in, in trying to save that. We might have a chance over here. I doubt it, though. Our 60,000 cannot compete with their... Was that 75,000? No, 65,000? Uh, Mamlukian Separatists, of course. Uh, we had one more group, right? Moroccan Separatists? Those are over here. Bump those guys up, turn that down a little. Mm. Hmm. The war with Morocco is never really going to end, is it? I don't think. Well, the Ottomans are moving, but not for the reason you think they'd be. They do have some guys, though, which is good. It's good to see progress. It's a shame how it's turned out, though.
Hmm. It's probably not a good idea to leave this defensive sort of formation we have here. Ah, the British fleet has slipped in. Let me see if I can get myself an admiral. Looks like a landing fleet, so let me try and take care of it. Oh, they immediately saw me and left. Okay, never mind. Okay, now would you have the balls to move into Malaga? I don't think you would. I don't think you do. Because, God, that'd be such a terrible fight for you to try and put yourself into. Now, they're going to go over for that land instead. Well, let me move into here. On the off chance they don't get a 40, 42 siege. Might be able to take it from them. No, they're moving over. They know what I was trying to do. Ah, oh, shoot. Never mind. Nah, they would definitely crush me. Can't move over there. How are the Ottomans doing? Um... Looks like I want to. I wanted to say it looks like they're losing to nothing because they're not even fighting. But that kind of is what's happening, isn't it? Like they're they're just they're not really fighting, are they? No, they're they're really not. They have a pretty clear path to move up here, but they've gone down south. Why? Are you, where are you going? Who are you fighting? Hmm? Got me confused on that one, Chief. Where are you going? To the Papal State? You going, going to protect Charza over there or something? Where, where are you going? Don't know what war, what war they're fighting, but it's definitely not mine. It's definitely not my war. Hmm. No, I'm gonna stay back here. I don't want to waste too many resources on this war. I have things to do other than just this war. This is for the truce. Basically fighting for a white piece type of deal. Or preferably land, but white piece is the more likely scenario. Where we get five years of truce with both of these empires. And then we can go and, you know, try and kill everyone else. Which would be nice. I see British. Not a fan of what I'm seeing. Ah, they were Spanish, not British. I'm gonna go and grab another Proof Relations dude there. Uh huh. I'm not going to cede that to Naples, no. Not when I'm so close to just having it. You're not going to lock in, are you? Oh! <gasps> They've gone and done the stupidest thing I've seen an AI do. There's no way they just pulled an absolute zero IQ move like that, did they? Oh my god, they did. Joyous day, I suppose. That's some free, uh, free losses on their side. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, I still don't know what the Ottomans are doing. I can appreciate that they cleaned up my rebels, but, like, oh, there's a little, little bigger of a problem to fight here. It's a little more of an issue there. Uh, we've reached a 25-minute mark, but, oh boy, am I really just wanting to do something here. Other than have to wait back and, and really just wait for reinforcements. Which don't seem to be coming. Uh, they seem to be going down here to siege the one little part down here in Africa that Burton has. That's... That's what they're doing. That's it. I have figured out the plan. You're right, this will win us the war. Just sending 36,000 men to a single province in Africa. Yes, that's how we achieve victory. Thank you, Ottomans. I should have thought of that. Truly, that's... That's some tactical genius right there. True tactical genius. Now Naples, you gotta, you better, you better calm down, boy. 
You're getting annexed whether you like it or not, Naples. You better calm down on that one, Chief. Now, let's bring these boys... Actually, let me read that real quick. Um, is that my own coast? Because it was... No, that's not how that works at all. It was Provences, probably. Hmm. Spain's at medium, at least. If we get them to low, it's a free white piece. Well, especially because we can't take that. We can't take anything. Hmm... Well, if anything, we're making slight gains in Spain. You know, maybe if they do end up taking the one province in Africa, they'll finally come back up and fight. I mean, it only took them like six years to get this far, but hey, maybe we'll see some progress. Well, this war has been going on for two years, so... Nah, yeah, let's not deal with that. Let's not deal with that at all. France can die, that's okay. Let's sit back here and let's look for... Oh yeah, Naples is going to be losing all their men, which means I should be able to completely full annex them in about two or three months. Are you going to... No, okay. I didn't think you were going to do something that stupid. Only Spain does something that stupid. Not Britain, though. So I have a tough time believing even I'd be able to hold up against all these guys in the mountains. Don't think I'd even survive that, would I? Lucien, which is... I thought that was this. I don't know. Apparently not. We lost the siege somewhere, though. Don't know where. Definitely somewhere. Hmm. No idea. Yeah, how's Brandenburg doing? How, how are you guys doing? Not bad. I don't know where your troops are, but you're doing okay so far. I would imagine with, like, you know, Brandenburg and the Ottomans, they would have taken down Austria in pretty, pretty much an instant, but I guess not. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I can ask them kindly, but I sort of refuse to acknowledge the fact that they're not going to do anything about it. I don't know. And standing here is not productive for my manpower. Uh huh. Seems this war with Morocco is still somehow going on. Despite the fact it's been many, many years since that began. Okay, let's speed four. Uh, integration, finally. Oh boy. Naples has finally been integrated. That took a really long time. Welcome to being an empire. That gives us 25 prestige and a cultural union of Maghrebi uh, cultures, which is great. So let me go do that. Beautiful. Uh, I can also, of course, go over here and... Turn a bunch of these into states for free. Or one of them into states for free. Yeah, I guess just one of them. Yeah, I'm at my states limit anyway. I can grab more with the next uh, next tech, which is great. Um, but where are my new units? We have like maybe five or something like that. So let's do something with them. If I have them, I might as well use them. Siege of something's done, and you plan to move on to here. This is probably going to be one of the last battles we can possibly fight. Depending on how it goes. Because they're running a minus two. I don't even think we'd be able to survive them. Oh. I should just stop talking sometimes. And just fight the war. Sometimes I should do that. Let's go and see if we can kill Spain with double their number without them having a general. Something tells me I kind of, you know, kind of doubt it. A little bit. But, you know, maybe we can give it a shot. 
No, something's up with this land. I feel like something's definitely up with this land. Did I just get more states? I did just get more. Why did I get more states? I didn't do anything. What? Oh, because I became an empire, so I got like five more states. Right, okay. That's cool. That's fine, actually. Um, Britain is being really annoying. 10th of February. We're not going to get there in 10 days. That's really unfortunate. Let me at least make some states, though. If, if nothing else, let me just make some states. I mean, how good of a state is Calabria? Oh, it's absolute trash. Never mind. Yeah, we're not going to get there on time. A little, little bit unfortunate. At least we can sink the navy that brought them there. Oh yeah, they're going to die. They're absolutely dead. Uh, looks like they brought in reinforcements. Of course. Oh, a new split retreat? Oh god, that's the worst thing that could have happened. That is literally the worst thing that could have happened in that very moment in time. Let's see if we can get Austria out at least. Not ideal. Ah, a lot of the a lot, of, a lot about the situation is not ideal. No less the fact that no one can control the Wurgle. Because if I made the Wurgle up here, then it wouldn't have worked out. Yeah, well, these guys are going to have to back up a little. In fact, if they went all the way to this fort, that would be peak ideal, you know, everything. Seven percent says they're probably going to grab it. We just take their capital we should be able to survive by taking Austria out and then surely doing something about the rest of these guys okay so you grabbed this good good now where else did you go going back up through here okay I like the looks of that if you would only come to the main battleground I would be ecstatic Sixty-four percent. Oh, what a shame! Absolute shame that is. Mm. Hmm. Sixty-four. Come on. There we go. Okay, Austria wants to leave. That's very, very nice. See, the special thing about Austria is I can actually take their land. It's a terrible idea, but I could do it. War reps. Get rid of all of your alliances, please. Literally, well, not all of them. I guess just Spain is all we can afford right now. Uh, war reps, Spain, money. That's what we can do to Austria. Taking land is out of the question. Too much aggressive expansion. It's HRE land. And it's not even like CB land. It's, it's literally just stealing. <laughs> Unnecessarily. Um, now let's see if we can move you guys down here. Actually, we're rather out of time, aren't we? I feel like we've gone on with this battle for for this war a little bit longer than I would have liked to for one episode. So we're probably going to end off this episode rather soon. Um, how about we do it just about now? Hopefully you enjoyed the war thus far. Uh, we've grabbed ourselves... Naples finally has been converted, or not converted, but uh, integrated. It's a lot of, you know, rebel issues, of course, in here. It's, like, completely different religion, the entire place is. But, um, soon enough, the Age of Absolutism will come, and those will leave, and we should be fine to keep these the way they are. For now, this is Corbus signing off, hoping you enjoy this episode, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you for the following patrons for the month of May. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quigersol, Farron, DLNM, and TFLJ Martis. In the $3 tier, we have Ben Greenhagen. In the $5 tier, we have Justinian. In the $10 tier, Natsuki. And in the $20 tier, Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me, and you're really helping to move this channel forward. Again, I cannot possibly thank you enough.